The subcontinent of Bharat is blessed with diverse flora and fauna that consist of many indigenous species which are typical to the tropical atmospheric conditions of the subcontinent and its bioclimatic zones that support four crop cycles. Bharat is still a developing country and majority of its population still depend on nature for their living. Agriculture and animal husbandry goes hand in hand, but neither the advancement in technology nor the research in agri-animal husbandry universities reach the rural populace. Hence, the economic imbalance. Hence, the team of urban and rural volunteers envisaged a program to merge urban and rural economics with indigenous breed of cows as its core. Cow, indeed, a holy species in Bharat, is considered as the best friend of humans since the beginning of civilization. Gao, the Sanskrit term for cow, means species which nourishes the earth. It is the least maintenance recurring species, especially the species found in Bharat subcontinent. The Bos Indicus are famously known as cows with hump on back and a good dewlap under its neck. Bos Indicus is the species that evolved over a period of time in Bharat and came into being during pre-human evolution or arrival on planet Earth. Ancient studies show us that Bos Indicus or Desi cow, Pashu or Pasutai, as it is known as rejuvenated humus in the soil, increased biota due to earthworm activity and created capillary effect within soil for roots to grow better, thus helping intercropping practices to maintain the NPK balance and microclimate both within and on top of the soil. Urine of Bos indicus was also found to have phenolytic properties and electrolyte properties with several minerals needed for both soil and medication of plants and species alike. We are, we are here in this place, Ujjapandodi, but uh, prior to that, I would say this program, which we have started around five years back, is to preserve these original local breeds of the area. There are around 2,700 villages with 100% Indian cow population. We call it as Boss Indicus in this scientific spectrum. So our program started to give livelihood to all the farmers around in this village and to improve this breed to the next stage. So we collect the milk, urine, which is all suited for Indian chromosomes. So the local Indian people are supposed to have the milk from the local Indian cows, whereas we have shifted to the European cows. That's the biggest hurdle, not just in the evolutionary process, it's also the problem for the health and other aspects. The team of urban and rural volunteers, calling themselves Team Desi Milk Bharat, evolved themselves to bridge the gap of urban procurers and rural producers with the idea of keeping the indigenous breed of cows intact. TDM had seen over a decade of research and resource networking that indigenous species or Bos indicus was the most popular bred in foreign countries like Brazil, New Zealand, Colombia, Argentina, Peru, Chile, USA, Australia and Thailand, yet was despised in Bharat in spite of having a so-called holy status. Mushrooming gaushalas and begging for donations was the order of the times. Even TDM wanted to start a gaushala with so-called high-yielding desi cows like Gir of Gujarat, Tharpakar of Rajasthan and Sahiwal of Punjab Sindh. But being made aware by doyens of zero-budget natural farming, Sri Yuth Subhash Palikar, Vandana Shiva of Navadanya, and not to forget the lead of Shiva Senapati, Kangayam Cattle Research Foundation, Thiru Karthik Shiva Senapati, 
who initiated the development of indigenous breeds, which urged the volunteers to conduct a survey of the Bos Indica species. Halikar, in its original tract, extending from Kadathur in Tamil Nadu to Chamarajanagar in Karnataka. Bos Indica's breed of cows yield A2 type milk, which is disease resistant and contains beta sazin protein, which is complete with stable amino acid chain. So, it's the concept of A2 milk, which is superior than that of Bostorian breed or Euro cows of cold climates, which have an opiate substance in their milk called beta casomorphine and an unstable amino acid chain which is now understood the world over that has created a great demand for Bos Indicus breeds to crossbreed it with inferior Bostorian breed. But in Bharat, crossbreeding was practiced thinking that cows are for milking only. This is what TDM wants to disprove through economic movement of self-sustenance. TDM thus came into existence by starting livelihood projects for the villages on this pure breed tract of Halikar. TDM found that there were over 2,600 villages with Halikar cows and with a population of over 4 lakh species. TDM created village level collectives VLCs for Halikar milk, urine and gober and started to supply milk on the same day of milking without any preservatives or skimming. Thus, the collected milk is transported to the city of Bengaluru and supplied immediately after boiling and cooling on the same day. There was no requirement of cooling as milk was moved on that day itself, thus automatically reducing carbon print and water print. It could be supplied at a premium price from which the farmer gets 60% of the supply price. That way, TDM became a farmer-friendly movement and procurer-friendly movement as it saved on tax. TDM thought to improve the breeds en masse. The breed of the tract should be kept intact. And at the same time, by using the gober of the species, one could suffice the milk procurers with chemical-free vegetable. And that's the next stage of evolving TDM in its drive to keep species intact according to the ecosystem. TDM mantra is economics should take care of environment and it is working. Never skew environment for economics. There all these cows um, or any species is meant to survive in this ecosystem. So if they at all they have to be improved, they have to be improved according accordingly with the environment, according to happenings in the environment and they belong to this ecosystem. So we have to take care, our economics has to take care of the environment and the species it belongs to. So this is the whole idea of the program. So milk is just the medium but the whole idea is to improve the environment and the taxpayers have to take care of the situation that the country is undergoing. Today we are losing our indigenous breeds for the other breeds which come out, which is not suitable for this climate, nor is it suitable for our chromosomes. Earlier, it was an undesirable situation for a farmer to protect an indigenous breed of cow. To make the matter worse, no government or bank gives loans or any other help for farmers for rearing indigenous cows in spite of indigenous breeds being disease-free and almost nil maintenance. Tedium has entered the fifth year of service with its network extending into 42 villages. At this juncture, Team Desi Milk plays a vital role 
by extending their helping hands to the villagers of Belganakope near Kanakpura, Karnataka, who are predominantly milk farmers. Halikar is the major indigenous cow found in this region. There are more than a thousand villages in this part and cow farming is one of the major enterprises in which they are engaged with. The farmers of these villages are able to rear their cows because milk is systematically collected from their places. Otherwise, it is not possible to protect and preserve these cattle. TDM has helped to get improved the milking of this breed from 5 liters a day to 9 liters a day in some villages like Halanata and Dimbadahalli. We started adopting the villages. So we have come to the, almost the 30th village in our whole set of villages, which we have taken over since last five years. So this is a total movement, it's a voluntary based movement where the urban volunteers and the rural volunteers like Prabhu. So these are all the rural volunteers who work with us and uh, they, they all set up their own network around the places. They move around in the, all the villages. And then where all these local cows, they are called Harlika breed. So they, we, we create a network of these cows, the owners of these cows. We create a cooperative and pick up the milk. Only morning milk is picked up. They are paid a better price than any milk federation can pay. And evening milk is left back to the village. The whole idea is not to create an economic based on greed, rather than blend the urban and rural economics. There is a bigger theory there, which has to be put into pragmatics, the practicality. Thus, with the help of TDM, remote villages with indigenous breed of cows and bulls are able to sustain and help improve and preserve breed and mass. TDM is planning the same in different parts of Bharat to preserve, protect and improve the breeds to counter pink revolution, which is eating away the natural resources. Creating the farmer's grid for the cause is the chief aim of TDM. And perhaps in future, TDM will be duplicated or appear as different avatar in different parts of Bharat.